Hello everyone and welcome back to Webcom Designs video tutorial guide. In this session we will discuss how one can add event on his rain powered community website. So you can install and activate the rain theme from the appearance theme section from the WordPress dashboard. You can download the latest version of the rain theme after purchase from the my account page of our website. And then you will move forward to the plugin section and add the event calendar and the event ticket plugin so the plugin is free you will find this inside the wordpress repository when you will move to the plugin se section and uh, add the event calendar inside the search so from here you can install and activate the event calendar plugin. And I have also installed the event ticket add-on. So once the event calendar plugin is activated, you will find the event CPT here. On hitting on the add new button, you can add a new event. You can enter the event title, description. I have created the one here. I have entered the event title, event description, then the event start and ending date and time. You can also select the time zone here if it is a event happening the whole week you can select this that it is a everyday event and there is also an option for recurring event but I've currently enabled the RSVP and hence it is showing it is not yet supported with tickets or RSVP then you have to enter the venue the location of the event Then you can edit or add the organizer here. You can select or create an organizer. You can add multiple organizer. You can place the link of event website if you have different website or not listing on this website. Then there is an option for RSVP and ticket. You can create RSVP. Can select the start and end date so between these date users or community members one can RSVP I have also created a ticket for this ticket also have same options with ticket name description date and price So once this is done, you can enter a featured image for an event and just hit on publish update button. So this is the upcoming event. You can also check the previous event by hitting on previous button. These were the event, previous events. This is the upcoming event. This is event archive page listing all the events happening. And let's see how single event page will look like. The single event page will look something like this. One can RSVP, one can also purchase a ticket. So let's check ticket settings. These are some ticket general settings. I have enabled the ticket option for the event CPT. You can adjust the location of ticket and RSVP from here. Whether you want default as below the event details. And you can enable these options if you want user to be logged for RSVP or to purchase ticket. Or guest user can also RSVP and purchase the ticket. 
next if you are having a ticket then you have to enable the ticket commerce so stripe and paypal is available if you want third party payment gateway then you have to check another add-on available with the event calendar plan so i have enabled the test mode currently One have to connect with Stripe or even the PayPal. This is how you observe. You can see the event page. So one can hit on our CD. I have not selected it for logged in user. a guest user also so i have marked that i am going and there is also an option to purchase the ticket you can select the ticket number and hit on get ticket and when the payment method is set one can check out so this is all about how you can create events on your community website this is all for this video if you have any questions please drop a comment below bye for now